All right, so after you power up your Spark, to update each battery, you're gonna need to plug each one in individually, so you can't unfortunately update all of them at once. It's one at a time kind of thing, but you can just do it as you uh, start to fly and update it you know, real quick before that. Of course, if you're going out and you really need the Spark to work, make sure you're updating all of this stuff before you leave the house, just to make sure you work out any kinks or problems that come up. So after you power up the Spark, you'll see a little message that pops up automatically, and it says inconsistent firmware found. And that's basically all you need to do to make sure that the battery gets updated. So you go ahead and slide to update, and the firmware on there will automatically start updating. And it'll give you that little progress right there. And uh, if you click on it, of course, it brings it over here. Now the Spark itself was already on 600, so right now it's just updating the battery as well. So once the battery is updated, then we're gonna be ready to go fly and you won't need to worry about any problems, at least in the immediate future until another update comes out. Getting closer here, and this is taking a little bit longer than you would think just to update the battery, but still it is moving along here. We're about two, two and a half minutes in now. And boom, there was a little uh, beep from the spark, so I would, think right now that it's probably fully booting back up and we should be set. Perfect. And it does say update complete, restart the spark and go fly and have fun. So go ahead and hit okay. And then I'll go ahead and power the spark off. Wait a couple seconds here and it does pop up that little message that the update was completed. And of course we'll fully know that it was 100% complete once we get this booted up. So go ahead and boot the Spark back up and we should be all set and ready to fly. All right, so the Spark is now turned on. It says the update is complete. It's collecting the version info because I just booted everything back on and hit the I for the information button there and everything is all set. We can go ahead and hit start flight and that pops up and it looks like we should be ready to go here. So let's get the Spark up in the air and see if any of these issues were fixed.